Well, I have a, or a Brook has, rather. I guess we both do. We've, we've both been using it, but, um, Brooke has a, a little webcam. Uh, oh, and, happy. and nobody, nobody's been using it. We don't use it minute to minute. Um, so I thought I would, especially for the werewolf stream, when they are so draining and make me so sad. Uh, you now have footage of her. Baby. <laughs> of baby. Of her. Of the Pumpernickel Princess. Sweet little Dorothy, we love her. The little girl, yay. She's deep. She's deep in the sunlight. Sweet little baby. I lied. I lied to you, chat. You thought this was going to be a werewolf stream. I lied. I lied. We're all just going to sit here and look. We're just going to admire her. The cat is charging. <laughs> Thank you for the fits, hey, sir. I at my dinner tonight, mommy. No! You cannot eat the Pumpernickel Princess. Oh, she's there. Oh, she just adjusts. She go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> she is. You can't eat her. She is the queen. She is photosynthesizing, so she can cause problems later. Oh, what did What did Brooke say? The sleepy by sunlight. Sleepy baby by sunlight, causing problems by moonlight. But I I opened the blinds because I was using um the sun for my UV cure resin. Uh, but since I started doing that, um, also just because I like to have more natural light in here since we have so many light sources. I'd, I'd rather we have natural light than the artificial light. And I just, I opened the blinds a little bit, let some light in so I could use it for the resin and let some light in. And now she has been, she's been sleeping either here, like wherever the sun lands, or she will sleep like in the window. Like, in the windowsill. She was doing that before uh, lunch today. But usually around now, around the beginning, middle of my streams, she likes to sleep in the sun. So now you have... Now you have Chi-Chi Cam. You can appreciate her. Baby. Why is Doodle stealing Dio's pocket book? It's fine. I lied to you. I lied to you. I said this was going to be a werewolf stream. It's not. We're all just going to stare at the cat. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'll pull the game up. Uh, let me see if I can... Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. I clicked it too many times. I'm a fool. Bye -bye. You're not my dad. You're my dad. Wookie, wookie, wookie. Let's be honest, this is better than werewolf. That game's an absolute howler. It's true. She. <laughs> it is her. It is she. She is the queen. That little bounce of her tail means she's happy. She flick her tail. She do a little sweat. Little baby. Precious sweet little Bumpernickel princess who's a little sleepy. There's a little sleep in the window. She charged. She photosynthesized. She become warm. <laughs> I just got the fucking... I have Twitter notifications on. I just got a fucking Twitter notification of, um... What happened? So I asked, so chat, I asked some friends to, um, to get some videos because I wanted to do a, I wanted to do a You Laugh, You Lose, uh, for a stream. And fucking Mortis just posts, do you guys realize how stressful it is setting up a You Laugh, You Lose for someone like Heaton when the extent of your humor is watching someone fill a rubber rat with water, then making direct eye contact with them and saying Matt Murdock? Cumflation jokes only get you so far. <laughs> 
it's tr- truly unequivocally sometimes Dio will fucking Dio and Mortis will send me fucking uh TikToks. Fucking Brick and Justin do it too, but they'll send me like TikToks that are like not that funny, but then I'll look at what they've captioned them and then I lose my fucking shit. Sometimes it's the caption or the title that gets me, but I want to, I want to do, um, I want to put together a You Laugh, You Lose for, uh, for my re-debut stream. I thought that'd be a fun way to test out the limits of my new model. Um, but let me, let me turn on the bad game. We'll make our little, put her right here. So, here's the plan. All right, chat. I want you guys to understand this. We're going to s- you know, we're going to fucking kill ourselves and then we, steal Jesus's shoes. Jesus. No, no. We we Keaton, you need a goal for your follower count. So uh, follow me. I have, I was going to say I have a symbol. 699. Hmm. This funny number. Because funny number. Where do we send the videos for that? I'm having some friends do it because they're very in tune with my sense of humor. Mm. <laughs> At first, I was like only my funniest friends, and so I sent it to uh, to Dio, uh, Avi, and Sarah Dust. And then Crafty and uh, Nezzy were like, what about us? And I'm like, you know what? Fair enough. So I just told my friends. I'm like, just set up. Just set me up. Oh. Line oh. me up. <laughs> you could always hit delete on Werewolf and play something less painful. <laughs> well, Justin, Justin's joke the other day was I was like, I'm like, man, I've been, we've been watching Bad Batch and Clone Wars. And now I just kind of want to play Fallen Order. And Justin snaps around and looks at me and goes, how much do I have to pay you to cancel out Ben for you to play Jedi Fallen Order? <laughs> I'm like, well, he paid me 30, so you'd have to pay me 60. Uh, and then he was like, fuck, I have to work all day today, so I wouldn't even, even be able to see it. That's not fucking fair. You have no idea. Dio brings the fucking heat. Dio brings the fucking heat. Dio's so fucking funny. He'll send me fucking TikToks out of nowhere that just destroy me. I can't do it. Where am I? Where Where are those TikToks? Dio just sends me the most cursed shit all also, the time. Also, Dio is the Dio is shit post king. He sends me some of the best fucking artwork, and then I just die. I just piss my pants. For scientific reasons, I need to know which TikToks. Okay. I'll send you some. Okay. So. So do I just send the video to you or what? Um, the fuck? I don't know. Somebody, somebody said that. They were like, I have one. they were like, where do I, they're like, where do I submit? I'm like, hey, fuck, I don't know. Um. Cause I do have one I would send you. Uh, one. send it to Dio. Um, Making my own mega video, then sending, ooh. Hang on, let me. Uh, I wanted to just show the fucking cat, but I'll... Oh, you're, you're making a mega video that sent me. Thank you for liking me. Okay. You will be, Derma. They will freak out whenever they get an onion ring with their fries. There. I just wanted to... I wanted to send the... I wanted to get the game screen. Uh, have you seen Cyberpunk Edge Runners yet? Uh, yeah, we watched the whole thing in two days. No spoilers. Um, yeah, no spoilers. Uh, hey, did you know that uh, you can make that uh, you can make twenty seventy seven uh, incredibly cool and interesting world to be in? You just have to have writers who know what the fuck they're doing and aren't in so, aren't, and aren't in four different rooms that aren't in four different concrete rooms that are only opened to one another at the end of development. You want to sound stupid, Heaton? Hmm. They're the same writers. Yeah, I know. It's almost as if they knew what they were doing to write uh, one long, uh, one long story instead of a bunch of uh, small segmented ones. 
Uh, it's almost like you needed to put people who were better with their strengths with their strengths, and now the story's good. Uh, Brooke and Justin had some mixed feelings about the ending, which I think is fair. I'm not going to talk about it too much here. We are going to do a caught-up cast on it. Uh, but, but I liked it. I, I had someone legit I, I was on um sky heart stream and uh someone asked the question what's a game you couldn't recommend to anybody mm-hmm. and i said cyberpunk 2077 but not for the reason that you think the reason i say That's i can't suspicious. recommend that to i can't recommend that to everyone is it for certain people would be a complete sensory overload and that's that's just how it is and that's kind of just the aesthetic of the cyberpunk universe in general it is kind of just a sensory overload and for some people i just can't recommend it said, we're making progress. like if somebody's on the spectrum and sent their sensory it can get e- easily compromised i can't recommend that game to them yeah adio said it best it's a lot yeah, it's a lot of the like the thing I keep hearing is that a lot of the like narrative content aside from the obvious uh the looks at looks at Dio Race's eyebrows uh is that uh a lot of the like disparate individual quest lines are cool and have some neat stuff going on, but they're just not cohesive. It feels like they're all, they don't feel like they're all segments of the same thing. They feel like they're all different segments of different things put together. Um, which is why I'm like, yeah, it's almost like when you, te- when you tell a group of writers that they're working on one s- uh, solid story all the way through with the same group of characters doing the same shit, it's going to be better. I think that's just the inherent problem with open world games in general. Yeah, no, truly. Honest. No, yeah, truly. I 100% agree with that. Uh, because that's the same issue with Skyrim, with GTA. Actually, I'm going to say this right now. GTA does it better, but they're all, they were also five games in whenever they started getting it right. <laughs> so You've got to, like... The, the thing for stuff like that, right, is that you've got to... When things are open world like that, you have to... Um, I didn't grab... I thought I... Well, a, a fool is me. Uh... Goodbye. Uh, but I, like, you know, you have to, when you're writing for, like, side quest shit, um, this, I mean, this is what I do in tabletops. I don't know if, I don't know if, I don't know if this applies, I guess, but when I write side quests for, like, tabletop shit, um, I have to, like, um, you have to just, like, add things that complement the setting uh, and not necessarily things that, like, domineer or take precedence. Yeah. Because you don't, you really just don't want, um, you don't want to run into the issue of, like, like, oh, that's the real main character. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree with Dio on that, that right there. Uh, to catch up, he, Dio is in. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, it's. Um, uh, I was about to say that. Yeah, Saints Row, like three and four specifically. I think they're talking about like, is it doing open world right or doing open world wrong? What do you mean? But they said, uh, whenever we were talking about like, open world games just generally have that issue whenever it comes to cohesiveness with their story. Oh, open world that feels like a mess. Yeah, yeah, I can I can see that. And I like Saints Row 3 and 4. They're fun, but it's 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 a mess. Um, uh, personally, I enjoyed uh, Cyberpunk side quest over the main quest, but that's because every step I take in the main quest is another step towards dying. I agree wholeheartedly on that being an issue with people. My I, big uh, my big one, right? We we talked about this. Was I I had the main quest line explained to me by Kaden and by Dio, people who have played the main quest of Cyberpunk. Mm. And my immediate response is this 
doesn't make any sense. And they were like, what do you mean? And I'm like, well, nothing about the way that you have laid this quest line out to me feels like it makes any sense at all. Like, like, okay, so your your heist go so you're you're doing your heist for uh for your gang or whatever, right? Dexter Deshaun, a uh, person who hired you on. Yeah, you so you're doing your that's not my point though, right? So you yeah, do your yeah, yeah, yeah. you're doing your you're you're doing your thing, you're committing your crime. Uh Jesus. So you're doing your thing, you're committing your crime. The containment unit for Johnny gets uh, compromised. Mm -hmm. And your and your prompt is well, in order for it to not break down, you have to put it in in your head, which doesn't make way. sense. The the general gist that they went with is the uh, chip can only really work in two major areas in cryogenic stasis or dormant in, you know wherever you have like a USB no and that's but that's what I'm saying it's like the that doesn't make sense because it's okay so the two places the only two places that it'll work are if it's like if it's like negative 30 or almost a hundred degrees. Definitely an oversight. Yeah, like it doesn't make like it doesn't make sense. It's so when I was when I was talking about it, I said it makes more sense to me because we were discussing it and they're like, well, then how would you fix it? And I go like super easily. You pick up. Uh, you get asked to pick this thing up. You do. And they're like, oh, it doesn't, it's fried, it doesn't work. Or, like, it doesn't have what we thought it has on it here. It's some old rocker's chipware. You want it? Fine. So you take it, and then, oh no, Johnny's still on it. That would not work with the overall plot whenever it comes to how Johnny got on there in the first place. Well, if you, you no, I'm saying you steal it the same. Like you, like, you steal it the same for the same... Like, the whole opening heist segment is the same, right? You're stealing it from yeah. Arasaka or whatever, but they think it doesn't work. Ah, uh, okay. When they, like, boot it... Like, when they boot it into a computer, they're like, oh, it doesn't work. Well, let's see if it's... Let's see if it's compromised here. Put it in. That makes more sense. And then it's like, yeah. okay, so now it makes... It's just... It's not a big deal. It's just an oversight. It's just if you would if you just thought about the construction of how we get from point A to point B a little smoother, we'd have less of an yeah. issue. Dio said um, some quests feel better than others. The Pacifica Mall is tedious. I the fucking issue with the Pacifica Mall is not only is it tedious, it is main quest. I, I and I love stealth gaming. I hated the Pacifica Mall mission. It is so fucking bullshit. Uh, but then you have side quests like Jackie's funeral and picking something out for his ofrenda and rescuing Evelyn that are wonderful IMO. Please, Hakimu I will think every moment of my life about the man who crucified himself for porn. No, it wasn't for porn. Well, I mean... Sure, sure it wasn't. No, no, it wasn't for porn. But it's the same way, like, well, technically, the Passion of the Christ is not porn, but... But, <laughs> like, it wasn't a sex, it wasn't, well, again, I was going to say it isn't a sex thing, but yeah, it kind of was. It kind of was. It kind of was. That's uh, why I'm saying, like, that's why I'm going to say it that way, is because it's like, was it, was it sexual? No. Was it f so that weirdos could get off on it? Wow. Great. See, see I, I, I think the thing that cyberpunk does well is the journey yeah the the journey of tra like even the smallest things like there's a mission where you go into it like a diner it uh we go to a diner and you sit down it's all that stuff and these three thugs come in to try to rob the place and literally you could just sit there and say do you know where you're fucking at dude like you are if you rob this place you're fucked 
not just because of me, but because of the gang that works here and stuff. Like, it's like stuff like that is really cool. Yeah, it's just only... it's true. One hundred percent, it's truly a case of like the journey. From what I keep hearing, the journey is great, but the destination is just not worth it. <laughs> I could see that. Yeah. Hello, uh, guys. Uh, I want to introduce you to my uh, GT camp. Uh, t uh, Dio said, uh, I'm only getting that Arasaka pin. I'm only now getting that Arasaka pin to death of Saburo on Takamura based on the, based on a comment at Tom's Diner, which is bad. Yeah. It just feels okay. like the, it feels like the overarching story needed a lot of, like, it felt like, it felt like the people who were working on the side content were like, fuck yeah, we got all kinds of cool ideas, let's do our cool ideas, and then the main story line, and then the main story quest had to be worked on, and they were like, fuck. <laughs> Which, in fairness, relatable content. <laughs> me, me the fuck too, when writing for, like, uh, me the fuck too when writing for like D&D &D content. It's the same way. I'm like, oh fuck. Shit, I have so many ideas for things in my setting. Oh god, what about your main storyline quests? Fuck, I don't know. Okay, so I know the last time I watched this uh, Marvel in action. Uh, so I know we had a creepy old man wanting to say that our daughter was hot. We had racism, so... Uh, are we at the part where our character caused a holocaust or the Watergate scandal? Uh, not yet. We'll see. Damn. Uh, sandbox games make their side quests work to help the greater narrative. Look at something like Infamous or Inf look at the Infamous series where the side quests are built around stuff you're introduced to the main game so they feel more like they're additions to the plot, not boxes on a list. Agreed. Classic trope for cyberpunk stories. I, yeah, I, like, I get it. Uh, welcome, hey, welcome to Heaton could write an entire, uh, Mundo, please tell me we are almost done. I Thesis. fucking, I fucking wish. No, I have, um, so I have, uh, I have two cyberpunk OCs. Um, one of them I cannot talk about in detail because Dio is here. <laughs> uh, Dio, leave. Uh, but, no, that sounds rude. Then, sorry, Dio. but, uh, because one of them is like funny artist, uh, funny punk artist tropes, blah, 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 whatever. I love him. He's great. Um, but uh, the other is more like, while one is more like I have these particular things I like about talking when talking about art in this setting or this kind of deal, uh, the other straight up is like, hey, he has a lot of thoughts about the concept of brain dam of brain dances and cyber psychosis that I think would be really fun to explore long term. So we're gonna do these two things in conjunction because you cannot legally tell me what to do. I mean, again, I could give you a Cyberpunk twenty twenty book. The I, uh, PDF. Oh God, I so want to. Uh, I would love to stay, but I gotta go to therapy. So I will talk go to, to all of you. All right, it's fun having this conversation. I really do, actually. I really enjoy conversations like this. Yeah, so, same. yeah. Later, guys. Uh, if I ever joined another D and D campaign, I hope it's ten times better than the last one I was a part of. I keep hearing that. I'm so sorry that y'all keep having bad experiences. I wish I could just DM for all of you, and none of you would ever have bad D and D experiences ever again. Then DM for me more. I wanna. I do too. There's no safer place to be than behind the turret. Um. But welcome you know, to uh, welcome to Edge Runners scratched a particular itch for me with cyberpunk stories, specifically because the concept of cyber psychosis is really fucking interesting. Well, because everybody and their mom, right? Because like, and I, and I understand why preemptively. I don't want anybody to think like, well, why would you? But like, a lot of people only see the concept of cyber psychosis as like, um as being purely the idea that, like, you're some kind of Luddite or, like, you're anti, like, prosthetics or whatever. 
And that's not necessarily true. Um, specifically, like, we were talking about this, is... Your turn, Ava. On it. You head to the north sector. There's something to be Are said. Lost some men in a counterattack, but we managed to push them back. There's something to be said specifically about, um... Uh, there's something to be said specifically about, um, like, all of the extra processing that your brain would have to do if you had to control and manipulate whole new, like, segments of your body. Can we you were able to walk into, like, the middle of the room. And they didn't notice you. If I eat soap, I don't the, eat a BCI the middle day. Of the room. No, I didn't. <laughs> the, m the middle of the room. Yeah, they didn't see shit. There's a middle of the room? <laughs> yeah, they didn't see shit. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm Ace Sneak. Sneak 10,000. What are you talking about? Hey, did you hear something? Yeah, you always hear things. Was he walking around this box? No, I'm Well, I mean, fine. not the way we thought. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Uh, but like... I swear there's somebody in here with me. Yeah, it's me, dumbass. You'd sure think. You know what else I'm surprised of? They don't notice the fact that all their teammates are dead. Yeah, you'd sure... Yeah, I didn't like them anyway. You'd sure think. Uh, anyways, it was fun here being here. I've got to head out. Best of luck getting through the game. Thanks, I need it. Um, I'm sure... If you answered this already, what game are you playing? I am playing Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood, a game I was really hoping Whose would be good. Whose footprints are these at MP3? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was a uh, game I was really hoping was going to be good, and it wasn't, and it made me very, very sad. Why are they in, like, huge groups? What the fuck? Branch, break away. Dude. Six feet apart. We're not at the, we're not over this shit yet. Six feet apart. Be less gay. Ah, <laughs> uh, so our main character is also homophobic. Listen, I know that we're supposed to be on I know we're supposed to be watching it on guard, but what if we just stood in circles and like Anyways. Anyways, for those it looks who... like they're about to force you into combat. Anyways, for I those mean, who are able... probably, because I genuinely don't know how else I'm supposed to get around this. Okay, uh, Heaton, roll for initiative. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh no, oh fuck, oh Jesus Christ, what'll we do? Oh no, whatever will I do? Oh, what does this button do? <laughs> Me taking more damage from the environment than the enemies. <laughs> Man, that, the explosive barrels, that's the true final boss. They have our daughter. I, have I mean, the last two areas were literally totally mind. pointless. Because we got nothing really... out of them. It was just like, oh, your princess is in another castle, Cahal. Uh, I only heard one bad it's thing like... about edge runners, and it's that there's a lolly. Well, I mean, not really. Like, Becca... Becca's small, but, like... The story and the characters never interact with her as though she is a child. Like, she doesn't act like a child. They don't speak to her like he's a child, like she's a child. She never pretends to be a child. So not really. Like, it doesn't appeal to that. Because there isn't the, like... She's just small. Small people exist. Yeah, Becca's a grown-ass woman. Yeah, she's a... She's like, <laughs> I don't, it feels weird to use her as an example, but she's a lot like Ellie, uh, like our friend Ellie, Ellie Momelli, yeah. in that she's, I mean, she's little, 
Uh, but she's she's a short stack. She's small and she's a spitfire, but she's not like the nothing in the narrative ever. There is no like I'm I look like a child, but I'm actually like X Y right. Like she's just short. She's just little and she's cute. But she also likes guns and talks about fucking the main character and. That sounds like Ellie. I love Becca. Becca's great. She's one of my favorite characters. One of my one like of my favorite members like of the Chihuahua. sidecast. Send more men and make sure they're ready to fight. Yeah, wouldn't that be weird? Stay on your guard. <laughs> wouldn't that be weird? Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> There's no fucking way. <laughs> Inconspicuous. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Man, I'm. Don't you love it? Isn't it? Isn't it great when a plan comes together? Don't you love it? All, all my years of playing Metal Gear have finally paid off. <laughs> Literally, actually, for real. <laughs> The yeah VR training, all of it. Snake needed VR missions. All I needed was fucking twenty minutes. <laughs> all I needed was just two, just tubs. I'm sure you could like pick up one of those things, throw it at someone, and they go, "What's that?" I mean, probably. Woo. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! There we go. All right. Okay, I didn't get spotted. Fucking finally. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's where our eyes were. All right. Uh, get them. Oh, I need to take care of these fucking turrets. God damn it. All right. Well, fine. No. He. What happened is that you temporarily took control of their eyes, so they couldn't see your character. For they couldn't. A minute. They couldn't see shit. <laughs> Uh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. Uh, the, the thing of it is, right, like, it's, it's a totally justifiable assumption given, but, like, like, if you saw Becca's character design and didn't interact with her as a character, I would understand why you would be hesitant, but it's fine. Some people, it's true though, like, right? Some people are just small. And she is, she is one of those cases where she's just small. But like, I totally get why people would look at Becca's character design and be like, oh, no, please. But nah, it's fine. She's fine. I love her. I'm upset that we didn't get Matt Mercer until later, but it's fine. Hey. So yeah, lo looking at all this carnage, and I have to be reminded, we're not we're we're not the ones being corrupted by the worm, right? No, it, it's totally. The natives. Yeah, no, they're corrupted by the worm. They they gave into their anger naturally. Uh, now, now, excuse me for a second, uh, while I um, for just a second while I enter frenzy and let myself be corrupted by the worm. Uh. You should watch Edge Runners. It's really good. It is not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you a little warning. Very not like Trigger's usual shit. Um. Very distinctly. Uh, like Trigger's work is usually. Oh, this guy is gonna. Yeah. Uh. Trigger stuff is usually a little more, um, uh, usually not quite as a violent. Uh, like, like you see like eyeballs come out, you see blood and brain matter. Like it's like fuckers get got, uh, in Edge Runner. Um, but they don't have my girl in it, so what's the point? Uh, but like, 
Like, they do some stuff. They make some choices. That I like, anyway. Oh, it's because they... They do the, fu the funny sex thing, isn't it? No. Uh, surprisingly. I thought for sure that they would, and they don't. Um, but, like... Uh... There's a lot of very interesting creative choices that I really, really like. The show looks great. I'm entering the North Sector. Um. You can tell. I've got two black spiral dancers on my screen. They're waiting for you. Black spirals. Good. I've got an old score to settle. Um. Uh. What's, what's the word I'm looking for? They have a... It's very clear that the people who are working on it didn't... Um, aren't the usual people who work on Trigger stuff. It's clear that it's a different group of outhouse writers. Um, but in a, like, non... Like, in a non-pejorative way, I like it a lot. See, the door opens. Oh man, they're getting on the helicopter again! Trigger said no mercy and then proceeded to make the most cyberpunk shit. I know! It's so good! It's so good! So, Watkins has sent his dogs to do his dirty work. I mean, they sent you, right? <laughs> Also, Mortis can, in fact, confirm. Um. Was in his fucking DMs the whole time. Just being like, I'm convinced. I'm convinced V is his mom. I'm convinced. Just Pepe still being it up. And he was like, it's not. I've played the video game. And I was like, mm, I don't know about that. Wait, wait, I have a question. This is important. This is an important question to ask. Yeah. Is Keanu Reeves? No, I I was hoping we would see Johnny, but we we don't. The ending is like really sad. Don't spoil it. I I won't, but like the but the ending's real sad. Is it breathtaking? Uh, it was really, it was really sweet. I, it was, um, yeah, so anyway, that was that boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus that Christ. That is what we like to call not a boss fight. I've got no choice. No, he, he, and it's just like, all right, so here we are at the boss fight. That was the boss fight. So anyway, here's my monologue about, here's my monologue about Edge Runner. Anyway, so that was the boss fight. <laughs> um, on, bless I you. My audio my audio equipment. Um, let's do. Uh, let's see. <sighs> let's. Do... You know what? We're gonna save points. We're gonna get that big ground pound. That'll be cool for later. Claire and Rogue, there was the third guy sitting at the counter who looks kind of like Johnny. Because I remember I made a joke. Uh, I made an offhanded bit when uh, when Lucy gets asked how old she is. I made the bit that I'm like... Age really doesn't, like, inform any- like, appearance doesn't really inform anything in fucking cyberpunk, if I've learned anything. Because fucking isn't, uh, isn't Carrie, like, like, 80? These sons of bitches won't hurt anyone again. But and, I will! But I will! <laughs> Carrie's in his 80s, 90s, yeah. And he looks like he's fucking 35. He's a fucking fox.
Listen, yeah, I have wanna... I have one reason that I want to play Cyberpunk, and it's that I really, really want to smooch Carrier and die. <laughs> he's so he's so sweet he's so fucking sweet D dio showed me a bunch of cutscenes with him he is baby i love him i i want good he's baby and unhinged i want to kiss i want to give him a little smooch kiss kiss smooch Let me give kiss to the handsome singer man. He's very pretty. He did threaten a girl group. I will stream to you his route. Thank you. Kiss kiss smorch. I like that their fucking shields just fall off. <laughs> like, like I don't even have to get around them. They just physically fall off. What the fuck? Can you? Just, oh, I, I was not looking at the share screen. I was looking at the, at the screen on the thing. So I was like, how, how do you know that? Oh. <laughs> I'm really unsure if I enjoy Edge Runners, but I'm optimistic about liking it. You should. It's very good. Unlike the game we're playing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Edge Runners was a very good series. I recommend it highly. I kind of hope they do more, TBH. Triggers, uh, the Trigger has done those two really big collabs now. They did one with uh, Cyberpunk, and then they did the. They were part of. They did two for Star Wars Visions, and they were amazing. Okay, so here's my problem. In don't expect it. Um, uh, do not expect like more. And this is not because of anything with the story or anything. I'm saying this based off of a. Uh, Trigger's previous, um, uh, previous, um, whatever's, uh, us little with Academia fans have Let's been waiting for fish. years. Fucking... <laughs> Are you pissing me? Okay, I was about to fucking say... Take that, you don't see me! God, that would've, that would've been so fucking funny! <laughs> if I could've just fucking juked him, that would've been great! <laughs> Christ! It's like, there's an intruder here! No, there isn't. Oh, I guess there isn't. I guess there's not. I guess whatever. Into the sea with you. Oh, okay. So, anyway. Uh... Yeah, so anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, but, like, Trigger always makes good shit. They never made anything bad. I mean, I think that there's, like... My main critique of, like, Trigger as a, like, as a company is that the things they make are a little simple. It was cool watching Edge Runners and, um... Uh, it was cool watching Edge Runners and uh, Visions where they tried to tackle like, oh there I go. <laughs> oh, so you can die in this game. Uh, it was cool to watch like um, Edge Runner and um, their Vision stuff where they. Are you shitting my dick? Okay. I, oh my fucking god, okay. Set me back to the top of the stealth encounter? Yeah, all right? Okay, all right, video game. Whatever, whatever you, sh oh god. It's uh, simple, simple. Yeah, so like, uh, so I like a good, uh, like, I don't, I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with, like, this, that's what I mean, is I don't want to say it like it's pejorative, it's just, like, I'd like to see Trigger tackle some things that are a little more, uh, complex. Narratively? Oh, I have to, okay. Uh, and so I, so seeing them work on stuff like Edge Runners and their Visions stuff was just what I wanted. I just wanted, um... 
I wanted something that was a little more um, nuanced, had a little more meat to it, and they did it, and it was great. So I recommended it highly. Okay, so which, uh, what, is there anything triggered that you haven't seen? Uh, I haven't seen Little Witch Academia yet. Okay, um... I, I've heard it's good. I intend to watch it at some point. It's on my list. It's just, I keep getting swept up in the new stuff. Like, I still have to fucking watch Lycoris Recoil. I watched the first episode of that, and that was cool. I liked that. Okay, so... Uh, I'm here Brian for, I'm here I... for cute, I'm here for cute girls doing gun things. Um, so anyways, uh, Brian and I, uh, we have a recommendation. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, Little Witch. <laughs> <laughs> so Brian and I have a recommendation. You should watch Little Witch Academia. I'm like, oh, yeah. um... I mean, I mean, if you want a second opinion, Monkey Kid's also good. <laughs> I do want to watch Mon Lego Monkey Kid at some point. I keep seeing fucking ads for it on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I was trying to tell you last time, like, before you end up leaving the call, but, like, I can already sell you on one of the characters just from saying, like, one thing about them. Hmm. So, Macaque is a feeder kid. Oh, God, fuck. <laughs> and he's voiced by Billy Carrot. Keep getting swept up in the new stuff is never me with anime. I always get into shit after it's no longer new. I, there's been a couple of new things that I've been into. Uh, I fucks pretty heavy. I'm so fucking excited for Chainsaw Man. <laughs> yeah. Dog, you don't even know. Dog, you don't have the slightest clue how fucking excited I am for Chainsaw Man. Man, I fucking, I fucking love Chainsaw Man, dude. Take the Duke box. Fuck this kid. I'm... I made the joke before, I'm less excited for uh, Chainsaw Man than I am for all of the terrible conversations that are going to get had about Chainsaw Man. I can't... I don't even know... I, was gonna say, I don't even know why there's segments like this where the game's like, oh, you could totally try to sneak past them, because, like, you clearly can. Like, what the fuck is their pathing? Oh, we're going to just... Oh, we're all just gonna swarm around this intro. I'm gonna just wait and see if they're... I wanna see if they... You know what? Put the fucking controller down. <laughs> so, uh, everybody, uh, we're, we are watching security guards at work. My group are hyped for the chain man. He just doesn't hit me. Fair enough! <laughs> we just watched that man clip through the fence. All right, cool. Yeah, <laughs> just just watch them... Watch him jump over fences for no reason. Not even. He just, like, phases through them. I have, I, chat, I have put the controller down. I'm not touching it. I'm just, I'm just waiting to see how long this goes on for. Just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna sit. Uh. How long the circus goes on for? This has become a just chatting stream, so hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> How are you enjoying the GG cam? Are you en are you enjoying watching the cat sleep? You want to watch my GG cam? <laughs> How many werewolf streams have we done? Uh, I think this is too many. I think this is five. No, we were half the last stream. We were halfway done. We were we were six hours in. That's seven too many. <laughs> How many people have you killed for? That's I cannot. Many. It's been a comfort. <laughs> <laughs> She's she is very comforting. She's just seeping. She's just curled up. She's just doing a little seep. You know, maybe we could do our search over there or something. Just the back half of the over here. The back nah. half of the room at all? Just fucking <laughs> at all? At any point? Why would we do that? He's clearly not over there. I can't. <laughs> this is fucking atrocious. 
It's like, we've looked over here for like five minutes. He's not here. He's, he's clearly, yeah, here. he's clearly not here. I don't fucking, I don't know what you're talking about. Who the fuck is the guy? Well, who else could have opened the door? He's gotta be over here. I don't, I cannot. Part of me wants to just, to just engage, to just do it. But like the other part of me is just, just wants to know how long this will go on for. <laughs> <laughs> Like, they have not crossed into the second- It's like there's an invisible wall! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Did you hear something, guys? <laughs> You've gotta be shitting me. Oh, fucking finally. Christ alive. <laughs> See? I told you he was over there! I told you! <laughs> I cannot. I'm I'm physically incapable. Jeez, um, jeez, um, craw, boys. I. Ooh. Well, guys, gals, non-binary pals, you watched that for way too long. The, you know, like I, I'm. It's like I'm certain Snake would. I'm certain if th these guys are having this much trouble fighting this guy in stealth mode, they would never fight Snake out in the open. Oh, not in a million years, no. <laughs> I can't fucking believe this. I yeah, just like even, even worse, just like Snake, not even in camel or anything. He's just there. He's just there. Yeah, no, D D David just walks past him. Oh, Morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good day to you, sir. Not not even in camo, just just standing there and just. Oh, uh, uh, ca ca careful, careful. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Don't want to repeat. Yeah, Where see, do you think you're going? <laughs> See, like, no. it's, the thing that gets me, right, is, like, as I'm doing the combo, it doesn't knock me off. There's, like, so I'm, like, oh, so there's an invisible wall, and then there's just not. And then as soon as I'm done with the combo, it, it ceases to exist. It's fucking, I, it's okay. Like what? Just jump off now. What did I miss? This is a hell of my own making. <laughs> Fucking... What did I miss? Nothing good. Oh, so nothing's changed? Good, I'm caught up. <laughs> Fucking... It's just... I don't... Like, dude, I don't even know what to tell you! Like, look at it! I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it! <laughs> look at me looking at it again. <laughs> supposed to go the other way yeah i bet but like skill points you see give he's me got the right idea. hear me out give me skill points so that i can make this game even more of a joke joel ka hole yeah i have an idea hmm anyway fuck this <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite Screw you, daughter, you're on your own It's one of my fucking favorite McElroy bits is the I just had an idea What? Actually, fuck this <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, Fuck you, daughter, you're on your own <laughs> Oh, now we've decided This is the arbitrary save point Is it because there's a boss fight? You got another helicopter, didn't you, you bitch? And your friends, too. If there is yeah. another helicopter, I will... I... I will... You will! You will! There will be... What do you... Fuck you mean, you will! <laughs> I've been here for hours! I've been here I'm... grinding my ass! I could be playing a better game! I could be playing Jedi Fallen Order! I could be fucking, I could be playing Needy Streamer. I could be playing horror games. I could have emulated Silent Hill 2. I could have worked on setting up Silent Hill 4. You know what, he and I'll buy you Klonoa after this. I fucking hate it here, dog. Oh God, <laughs> it fucking sucks. He and, he and, hearing your reaction, that is a horror game. Making you feel unpleasant. 10 hours, 10 hours too long.
Klonoha. Fucking, uh... Please buy Klonoha. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, spoilers, by the by. I found... Uh... Chad, I have some news. I have some good news. I did want to tell you about this as well. So, Chad, I have some good news. Uh, I found... My very, very old... Uh... The, the device that I use to capture, like, old games. My old Roxio game capture. Uh, and I also, also, uh, recently found at a local game shop a PS2 copy of Silent Hill 4. So that's gonna be what we do uh, for the spooky game days of... Uh, so that's gonna be our next spooky game. That's the plan, is to play Silent Hill 4. Um, cause I do, after I beat, um, uh, after I, oop. Give me these skill points. <laughs> so, um, uh, the goal is that after I beat this, Fuck, I was originally going to, um, I was originally going to play Swan Song after this, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate between, uh, I'm going to alternate between Swan Song and Jedi Fallen Order. Um, so Tuesdays we'll play Swan Song, Wednesday, or, uh, Tuesdays we'll play Swan Song, Thursdays we'll play, uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, and then, uh, after those, we'll play some, and then after we beat Swan Song, we'll play some Silent Hill 4. Because I've always wanted, because I've always wanted to play Silent Hill 4. I'm sorry, you are not the father. God, the fucking creature design I'm so fucking angry, because the creature design in this is in these game in this game is so fucking good. Also, uh girly wolf pup, yeah, don't tap I have already bought that game I have already bought Klonoa four times, I'll buy it a fifth. <laughs> I it wanna, is in fact on sale right now. I want to alternate between spooky and non-spooky games. I really don't need to heal, because when I enter Frenzy, it's just gonna heal for me, so I don't know why I did that. And it really just does just incentivize just fucking yeeting myself at the boss until it, until it dies, huh? I mean, look, you're the one with the healing factor, and they're not. That's their problem. It's true enough. Did you wake? She lick? Oh, she jumped into the window. Hang on. Okay. While the cutscene's playing, I'll just... There she is. Hey. Yeah, hey. there's our 30-year-old-looking daughter. She jumped into the window. Hey. Should have been the one to fill your dark soul with wolves. Take cover. Can you hear me? 
This isn't a werewolf stream, it's a GG Cam stream featuring werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> 24 hour GG oh. stream. I'm here. The explosives are almost ready, but Indrin sent in reinforcements. We can't handle this alone. We need you, Kahal. If Donna, she's God. I know. Cool, we spent, like, no time with her, and the little bit of time we did spend with her, she fucking hated us, so I have no feelings about this. We need you here. Another helicopter? I swear to fucking God, if he gets in another helicopter, I'm gonna lose it! Don't worry, I'm not getting away in a helicopter. Oh, oh thank God. I'm getting away in a hindy. Oh, this is what we do. Oh, I was warned about this. Oh, multiple paths. You know what? We have like literally not given a singular fuck about literally anything else this whole game. I'm sorry, Ava. I can't let Watkins live. Oh, I, I understand. We'll manage. Get Watkins. Like we've literally not given, we've literally not given a singular fuck about anything else this whole fucking video game. Fuck it. There's no music. There's no sound effect. What the fuck? <laughs> what? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? She's just as Audio, bad. that's your cue. <laughs> the cells we injected her with, perfected her with, are all mine. Though I'm the father. <laughs> came from you. Man, this is like, Anger. I don't. It's over. You're gonna die here, and your base and your fucking protocol will go down with you. You think that will change anything? You and your kind. You're just pieces in Endrin's grand game. Nothing but pawns waiting to be sacrificed. I don't even get any dialogue options. What the fuck is happening? Damn. I can't believe Addy has two dads. Oh, he's just a fucking basic enemy? He d I don't even get a fucking cool boss fight? What the fuck? He's just the fucking basic ass enemy? That sucks. Where's my cool boss fight? Zero out of 10. This sucks. I hate it here. Well, you just assume you'd actually get a decent boss fight and the game just doesn't end with a massive middle finger staring at you. Well, like, I'm not gonna get anything, like, like cool or dynamic, right? But, like, 80s design was cool. You'll never win, Cole. I super will, actually, because, spoilers, I... Who is the one with the healing factor? I'm, not you! Spoilers, I'm pretty far in my fucking tech tree, actually, so I'm, I'm gonna be fine. All I have to do is just pin you to this wall and... Just fucking whale. Like, I just have to hit buttons, truly on God. Like, oh no, what am I gonna do? I'm taking silver bullet, damn it. Oh, never mind. Thank you. Could use more rage points, thank you. That's great. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna combo break you. Uh. Yeah, I, you, you super can actually. Man, and here always you can't pay gonna... me to give a fuck about this or you or oh no, oh god, oh what? I oh no, I healed all of those points back. Oh chill, fuck, oh god. You, you, you know, and here I thought we were gonna get a boss fight to rifle the rival that there, of people. There, there we brutal. go. <laughs> that was that was it. Yeah, he, here I thought we were gonna get a Virgil tier boss fight. Wow, that was it? That sucks. <laughs> what a fucking... 
What a fucking unsatisfying boss fight. Like, the main antagonist? That was it? That was all you get? That sucks. Eva. Watkins is dead. It's over. Wow, they suck shit. <laughs> and a whole fucking army! They were crawling this place! The fuck? In a press release, Endrin announced the death of its CEO, Richard... Also, yeah, it should be. Video games should be over. I don't know what fucking else there is. ...members of the eco-terrorist group Lambda Mankind. In light of the tragedy, the company's transition committee announced that the release of their biofuel will be pushed back to a later date. Pentex needs the results of Watkins research. Find them for me. Does I know Pe I know Pentex. Wow. <laughs> I'll get that filthy animal. Rolls credits. <laughs> ah, the oh, sequel my bait. Oh my god. Oh my god, that sucks. Cyanide Studios. That seems almost appropriate. Yeah, when <laughs> yeah, yeah, which, yeah, which one of my teeth do I have to pop out? Christ, Christ, Jesus! That was it. That was my whole climax. Jesus. I'm almost curious as to what the other climax would have been like. However, comma. I so I don't take it care. one out of five. Like, yeah, probably like a two, maybe, because some of the environmental design was cool and the hack and slash parts were fun enough. Uh, the hack and slash parts of this were did feel good. The parts where you were a werewolf running around cutting things down, it was it was pretty good. Uh, the the creature design was cool. But, like, everything else was just lame. <sighs> that was it! That was my climax! Any of these developers' wives! <laughs> <laughs> Christ. I'm just hearing just the ending bit from frickin', what's it? The name of that movie, Idle Hands or whatever it is, just like that's it. No fire, no brimstone, no. No fire, no brimstone, no fucking nothing. This is it. This is all I get. This fucking sucks. I hate it here. Anyways, yeah. Uh, <sighs> you know what? How do you how do you feel about going through the other scenario? I don't care enough. <laughs> Good. Let's look it up on YouTube. Uh, GG saw us through. She did. <sighs> You pumper nickel princess, she brought us the merciful end, thank oh. god. Oh, and look, Believe in her. Look, Cece has joined us. It is the GG and Cece show. Play an actual good game after this, you earned it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, we're not doing anything tonight. Uh... Uh, cool. I was gonna say we're not doing anything tonight. Um, we don't have anything to do that's too important. So you know what we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna hang on. Okay. I'm going to. Anyways, uh, so you want to see the Ava, the Ava path ending? Uh, what we're gonna do? Hang on. Uh. Bada bingus bada bongus. Can we? Oh, did we hold skip? I don't care. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, that's done. Thank God. Hallelujah. We're free. We're going to. We're gonna do this. Uh, give me. 
friends, Roman's countrymen. Lend me your ears. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to end stream for, like, 30 seconds, and then I'm going to boot stream back up, and we're going to fucking play Jedi Fallen Order. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end stream. I'm gonna change the details so that way I can upload the vod to YouTube. Uh, but then okay. we're gonna I'm gonna play I'm gonna play Fallen Order. So give okay. me so I, I, so I, don't I, go I, anywhere. Don't go anywhere, chat. I'll be right back. Be right back. Before you, 